how to navigate the adventure land environment and optimize potion consumption. I'm new to this game myself, but I've picked up a couple of things from the guides and from speaking to the community on Discord. I discovered this game a couple of years ago when I was first starting to learn JavaScript. <clears throat> Sorry, a bit hoarse this morning. I was hoping to use the game to learn about JavaScript, but I found the Adventureland ecosystem was too big for me and too complicated. And in the end, I decided to learn web development directly instead as it would be more efficient for me. Uh, but now, uh, a couple of years later, I've revisited this with a bit more understanding and with a few more tools under my belt. And I thought, I could try to share them with you guys uh, to help people settle into this game more quickly and hopefully use it to learn uh, in a way that I didn't or couldn't. Because uh, I think this game is a brilliant idea and uh, learning to code through gaming uh, just sounds great to me. Um, so first thing, uh, why learn potion optimi optimization? Well, initially uh, I was reading through the guides and um, you can get through on the Steam Adventure Land. Um, if you click on the community, I think it's, if we go back, yeah, when you Google uh, Steam Adventureland, you get to this page, and then you want to go to community. No, that's not it. So when you go to Adventureland MMO, you've got this Steam page here, um, and then Community Hub on the right here, and you'll find some guides. So um, definitely have a read through these at your leisure, but this is the one that caught my attention, and it's, yeah, so you go to the top and then you find what should be some of my coding goals. And the first one they list is improved potion consumption, such as only using HP and MP potion when you need it. Now I've tried to learn this a couple of years ago and uh, it, I just found it, it took too long and it was, it was too complicated just trying to get the first, what I thought would have been a simple task. Um, so I thought I'd just quickly show you guys how to do that. Now I'll show you that, so we all know the, um, the basics of what's going on. If I move over here, in fact, if I if I go to my code and I turn this off for a second or disengage be easier, press escape, walk my way down to a more difficult enemy. Now if I go and attack these guys, go to code, um, I'll turn this on, but I'll turn off my healing, which is... Oh, this one here, isn't it? So if I comment this out, and then we click engage, and then we should see him attacking. So, um, as you can see, my health is dropping. What I can do is I can left click this, or is it, yeah, left click, and that will heal me. And we can see here, this is my, um, this is my cooldown for the, the attack, so press this here and you can see it's cooling down again until I can heal again. So that's me using my default heal and I haven't got any potions here you'll see. Now I can also do it with mana, MP and you can see if I do either one it blocks the other one so they're both on the same cooldown. Okay so now let's go um, up to the potion man and I'll go buy some potions. Is the potion man keep going keep going is it this guy gabriel oh it's i have to turn off my um code escape all right let's go chat to somebody is it you no you saw weapons you saw potions there we go so i think i gotta yeah i gotta right click these There you go, and I've bought some potions now. Before I wasn't using any potions. But let's see what happens. If 
I go here. Okay, the knight goes. Engage. All right, so we're going to attack and we're not going to be using any automatic potion usage. So let's have a look at my inventory. I've got potions here. If I press this, what happens? And I simply heal, but I don't use any potions. So I'll try that again. Nothing. Oh, did that one move? Let's, have, let's try that one more time. Yeah, okay, so I'm automatically just using the biggest potion, um, which isn't a terribly efficient way to do if I don't need to. Okay, so what's the next step? Um, let's go to our code and turn this on. Turn it back on. Okay, so now he's doing it automatically. So you can see again, he's using the bigger potion and they're gone. Um, and now he should be, yeah, now he's using the smaller potions and he'll use them until they run out and then he'll just use the default, um, I'm not even sure what it's called, but the non-potion heal. Um, which is a, I believe, a weaker heal, but also has a longer cooldown time. So this this duration we're waiting for here.